What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. To those who are new here, my name is Gian and I am a thrifted fashion content creator who has just started out here on YouTube but I've already been making thrifted fashion content on my TikTok which you can feel free to follow if you are interested in anything thrifted stuff including um, fashion like bags, clothes, shoes, both men's and women's. I do it all here on my channel and on my TikTok account. So just a little recap, the first ever video that I have uploaded here on my channel was my collection of my thrifted bags. And I would like to continue the series, which I would like or love to call the thrifted collection series. I will be showing you guys this time my collection of men's shoes. So before I proceed and show you guys my personal collection of shoes, I would just like to clear it out of the way that this is just my personal preference when it comes to collecting shoes. So as you will be noticing throughout the video, I will be showing you shoes that are from designer or luxury brands. That is because I have been a fan of fashion ever since I can remember and it it amazes me and it really feels nice as a fashion fan to be able to see and get these pieces personally because I've only seen them for the longest time in magazines, in the internet, in fashion shows, uh, the articles that I read. So it's quite nice, again, as a fashion fan to be able to get these pieces at a low price from thrifting. And second, I am only going to show you men's shoes because I personally collect them. And although I also buy or thrift women's shoes, those one I do not keep with me. I actually sell them on my Instagram. I sell my thrifted finds on Instagram. By the way, uh, it's GN's Thrift Corner if you are interested. So the women's shoes that I find, I actually do sell. But I keep some of them for my personal collection also but that will be in another video because uh so far i only have a few pairs that i have keep in my i mean that i have kept in my collection and um the most pairs that i have again are men's shoes so without further ado here guys is my personal collection of thrifted men's designer and luxury brand shoes so the first pair I'm going to show you is this Steve Madden Chunky Platform Sneakers which I got for I think 100 pesos and I have been uh, eyeing uh, the Converse Runstar Hype but um, I was in doubt because uh, for one it's quite pricey and second uh, I'm not sure if I have been able to get my money out of it because I don't think I So I'm really quite lucky to have found this as an alternative to the Converse ones for high. So ever since I found this, I have not been wanting to get uh, that pair. So this one I really really like because it gives me uh, extra height. I think this gives me at least two or two and a half inches extra height. And this is exactly my size. And it's still in a really really good condition when I found it. Um, are the soles so in fact I have brought this with me when I uh, did my uh, a quick trip to Cebu uh, last month and I'm really 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 happy that I got this pair here's the thing I am a big fan of white sneakers and in fact on my current rotation of everyday shoes that I use um, they're all white sneakers just because they instantly elevate any outfit that you wear no matter how basic or no matter how simple they are. White pair of sneakers will always bring that extra spice to your outfit. So I'm not really confident when I go out not wearing white sneakers. I mean I am fine with uh, colored shoes outside of sneakers. I'm okay with um, non-white loafers or boots that are not white but in terms of sneakers I really just prefer white but still I always make sure that I give space to 
um, some exceptions and in this case it's this pair of Lanvan patent leather and suede cap toe shoes. Now this pair is still being released by Lanvan. In fact, it's still available in uh, luxury boutiques or luxury websites such as Farfetch, My Teresa, and others like Yuke's. So this I think retails for at least 22,000 pesos the last time I checked. So again, like I say, uh, like I said, I'm a fan of white sneakers and I tend to stay away from sneakers that are not white. But again, this is an exception because I really like that the style of this pair is a good balance between being a casual pair of shoes and of being an everyday pair of shoes, if you know what I mean. Because um, there are styles that are really fit for everyday, like you can use and use for everyday. But this one is, I think, a good, again, a good mix between being casual and being for everyday use. And however, this one, although I only got this for 100 pesos, um, the inner leather lining, as you can see, has already peeled off. But I don't care. Uh, it doesn't matter that much to me because what matters is that the exterior still looks very good. Uh, it's not really that abused by the previous owner. In fact, there is no heel drags on this one. I believe this has only been used for a few times and then... I don't know if this was thrown or donated, but regardless of that, I really, really love the style of this. I have been babbling so much and said so many things, and we are still on our third pair of sneakers. So from here on out, I'll be making this quick. So third pair is this Alexander Wang X Adidas Skate Sneakers. This one I bought from a seller from Facebook Marketplace for 400 pesos, and the only reason why I bought or got this pair is that because it's from Alexander Wang which um, aesthetic or designs I love and there's no other reason other than that because I again I don't like sneakers that are not white so this next pair that I'm going to show you is a classic example of my love for white sneakers but before I go ahead and do that let me just tell you a quick backstory of how I found this pair so again aside from going to physical uh, browsing on carousel for uh, thrifted designer items. I also like to check in Facebook Marketplace from time to time because there are you can also score designer items there for really really cheap, especially if the seller has no idea about the brand or really doesn't care about the brand in general. So again, when I was browsing through Facebook Marketplace, I found this one Christian Louboutin on sneakers pair which I'm going to show you later on and I said jackpot little did I know that when I messaged this is the seller when I messaged the seller she still has another pair of sneakers that she did not list uh yeah that she did not list as for sale on Facebook marketplace so when I messaged her she offered me another pair to go with the Christian Louboutin as a bundle and it's this oh my god this is the Christian Christian Louboutin this is the Givenchy Urban Street sneakers in red and white look at how beautiful this pair is again as a fan of white sneakers I was really really surprised when she sent me pictures of this and offered this to me together with the Louboutin pair and I said yes right away because it's rare that I find this Givenchy sneaker especially in Facebook marketplace or even in thrift stores and in this very very good condition. I don't have so much to say about this except that it's very very beautiful and for someone who likes white sneakers this is a dream come true for me to own a pair of Givenchy Urban Street sneakers so yeah that's the story of how I got my favorite pair out of all my current collection of men's shoes so this next pair that I'm going to show you is one of the earliest pieces in my collection. I've had this since pre-COVID, so that would be like 
three or four years ago, I got this pair from Carousel for 300 pesos. It's this, the Seagull. This is called the Blanco Cosmic Sneakers. But unfortunately, um, it's quite bad on my part. I think it's also my fault that despite how long I have been keeping this, I know this sounds weird, but I haven't got the chance to use this even once. So this has been staying in my shoe rack for the longest time. Imagine being in the shoe rack for three or four years and not being used. So I actually, I feel bad for this because I quite or i tend to gravitate towards planar sneakers if i may say so as compared to like if this and my pair of air force ones sit side by side together in my shoe rack of course i will always reach out for my air force one so i'm so sorry but i just realized that this kind of matches my outfit today so yeah i think from now on i'll be using this more often so i'm so sorry my baby so there again it's this the seagull it's a spanish brand uh it's a spanish fashion brand called the seagull so yeah it's a good thing that i did this video because i was reminded to use this baby more often the first four pairs that I have showed you, believe me or not, are the plainest ones out of my collection. So when I say plain, they're not as extra as the last two sneakers that I'm going to show you. And first of them is this pair of Metal Gianchi Spiked and Glitter Sneakers. I'm not sure if you are familiar with the brand, but it's quite a good brand there. I think they belong in the entry level or mid luxury brand of sneakers. And I'm not so sure why they are not that popular or known. Here's the brand Metal GNG. So I found this and got this for only 50 pesos. And you may be wondering why it's that cheap because it already has um, obvious signs of use. This is already in beater's condition. So when you say beater's condition, to those who are not familiar, it's how you call sneakers that have been worn so much by the owner that it already has very obvious signs of usage. And this already has damage on some parts. Well, not really damage because this can easily be repaired or fixed just by adding some extra silver glitters over the black areas that are exposed. So there, again, this is from Metal GNG. And the most extra, if I had to choose out of all my sneakers, is this pair of Christian Louboutin, the signature red soles, Christian Louboutin rhinestone covered high top sneakers. So this one, I actually don't have any plans to be using because for one, this is too extra and I don't have any event to use this for and it's quite weird that I'm going to use this on like a normal going out day, like buying something at the mall or doing groceries. So that would be too extra and I'm sure all eyes are going to be on me if I do that. So unless I have that extra confidence, which I don't have. So... Again, um, again, also, I'm not really a fan of, um, oh, it's lost some rhinestones already. Uh, I'm not a fan of high top sneakers, so, yeah, and this is a size 40, and I'm only a size 39. So, the sole reason why I got this pair is for display purposes, so it's quite nice looking at it, but it's a different story when... I'm, when I think about wearing this one. So again, these two are the most extra pair of sneakers that I have. Now we are done with all the sneakers in my shoe collection. So let's now go ahead and immediately proceed to my more casual and formal shoes. Starting off with this, our Fango Firenze. 
driving, velvet driving loafers. So Arfango Firenze or Arfango Florence is an Italian brand, Italian luxury brand, and it's one of the Prince Charles of UK's favorite brands of shoes to wear. As you can see, because it's quite elegant looking or classy or classic looking. So I don't wonder about that. The problem with this pair is that it's made of velvet and dust particles and other stuff easily attach to the surface. However, it's okay because I can use lint rollers to remove that. And I haven't got the chance to wear this as well because ever since getting this um, last 2019, I haven't had any formal event where I need to use this kind of shoes but I believe in the future I'll be able to finally use this one and I got this believe me or not this is only for 30 pesos so in terms of the price which I got all these shoes for this one is the cheapest so there in fact um, ever since I got this it I made it a point to look for another Arhango pair but I unsuccessful up until this day which is why I'm really holding on to this pair and not selling or letting this go because this is the only Arfango pair that I have. This next pair is probably my favorite out of all the formal shoes that I have for a few reasons. One is that because this style is not your typical loafer style. Um, not really unconventional but it's not the usual style that you see from other loafers. And second and the most important reason why this is my favorite is that I share the exact same pair with my favorite actress Jennifer Lawrence. So there was an article where she made headlines and she wore this specific 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 pair of shoes from designer Louis Lehman. So it's this studded loafers from Dutch designer Louis Lehman. Um trivia, Louis Lehman's pieces are quite up there. Um above one thousand dollars or fifty thousand pesos so his pieces are quite expensive and again to share the exact same pair with my favorite actress of all time jennifer lawrence doesn't it make it or make this pair quite special so this is how it looks of course so there louis Lima, and then it has his logo at the bottom and look at all the studs last pair of loafers that I have is this vintage Versace um, woven patent leather loafers. I think this is called the solid loafers. Versace doesn't release really this anymore. In fact, I have seen one pair. Uh, it's the gold variant for sale on eBay for $1,200 plus dollars or roughly 50,000 pesos up. So I'm quite surprised it's this expensive. I believe this is a rare pair from Versace. Again, like all of my loafers, I, ha I haven't got the chance to wear this one. But hopefully in the future, I will get the chance to be able to finally make an outfit out of this pair right here. Last pair of slip-ons or casual shoes in my collection is this leather double-zip slip-on from designer Giuseppe Zanotti. This one is actually a size 41, but it fits me like a glove. I don't know why. Maybe because of the zippers, they tend to wrap my feet snugly when I close them, which may be the reason why I don't feel this is um, not my size. This is really, really classic looking. I really love how it's just black with the gold hardware and the white soles and mid soles. So nothing I can say much about this. I really, really like this one despite the fact that this is two sizes bigger than mine. But yeah, I don't care. Look how beautiful this is. Right? So those are all my loafers for formal shoes in my collection. So let's now proceed to my more casual ones. And remember uh, when I showed you my Givenchy white sneakers, I told you about the 
Christian Louboutin pair that I first saw in the Facebook marketplace. So it's this pair. This is called the Christian Louboutin Master Alta Sneakers and this is the Sequins Edition or version. So now it makes sense to you why I said earlier that this one is too extra or too flashy for me because it is. Again, like the other Louboutin pair that I have, this one. Actually, the Louboutin pairs that I have are the most extra shoes that I have in my collection. So, as you can tell from this one. This one, I actually thinking of letting go. I actually got an offer um, for this and I'm contemplating because I also need extra cash right now because I'm planning to get something. So I think I'm okay with letting this go because I really don't see myself wearing this pair, but I'm not so sure. But since this is rare, this is uh, from the capsule collection of Christian Louboutin, so it's quite hard to find this pair, which is why I'm quite contemplating hard and long about letting this go because again, this is rare and I may not be able to find another Louboutin Master Alpha pair. But regardless of everything that I said, I'm gonna let you appreciate this up close. Look how shiny the sequins are. The classic or signature down to our last four pairs and they are all boots which aside from sneakers loafers and casual shoes I also love this style so I make sure that I have enough boots in my shoe collection because there might be an occasion where I need to use one so I have at least a few pairs to choose from so first in my last four pairs of boots that I'm going to show you is this vintage Alexander Wang cowboy style Chelsea boots. So as you can see, there are cowboy elements all over the boots as you can see. And this is only size 38 but it quite fits me well and again I'm a size 39. And Alexander Wang's uh, aesthetic for design is quite androgynous so which is why I included it in uh, my collection because this can also be considered as men's boots. I don't know if it's just me or yeah this looks androgynous so this can pass as a men's boot so this is the only Chelsea boots that I have because the last ones are all tall boots so again this is the only ones that I have that is ankle length so I'm looking to find more but for now I'm okay with having this so in cases where I need to use a heel Chelsea boots I know I have this to reach out for so another pair that is actually a women's pair of shoes but still decided to include in this collection is this Stuart Weitzman this is called the woman boots this actually has pearl embellishments all over the midsoles so I rarely get pairs that are not in good condition or that need some repair but this one is an exception because I found this I find this really really nice so I just need to find a replacement for these little pearls over here I only need at least six or seven and it's good to go and I only need aside from this I need a replacement uh, shoelaces for this pair and it's quite good to go there second to the last pair is this hunter rain boots this is actually a literal pair of rain boots and i don't know why i got this maybe i was really really attracted to the color combo of this nude upper portion and the black portion right here and when i saw this i immediately thought fashion week or styling this with a blazer and stuff so that I look like an equestrian so maybe who knows I'm hopefully I'm gonna be invited to fashion week someday and I'll be able to use this pair so that's what was going through my mind when I got this for 350 pesos so I really really love this pair again although this is actually a uh, riding and rain boots but I can't wait to style this one in other ways where it's not 
um, for those purposes that I said earlier. So, hopefully, to Fashion Week someday. Down to our last pair and probably my favorite out of all. Again, I was imagining myself right away um, going to Fashion Week when I saw this pair. I immediately thought about styling this with all the pieces of clothes that I have right now. So it's this Bottega Veneta tire boots in this black and green color combination. So I, I was really really surprised when I found this one and I immediately got this uh, despite having um, no extra money I know the things we do for fashion and thrifting but you know I might regret if I didn't buy this immediately and some other person saw it so yeah there are actually no regrets and you know it it will quite be the opposite if I didn't get this so I might regret it for the rest of my life so which is why I immediately but good thing the seller was nice enough to give me a huge discount on this one I think he gave me at least almost 40% from the original price he was supposedly um, I mean originally priced this so I'm quite lucky to have found this and this is also in my size although the problem with this it, it's quite hard to wear and take off but I don't mind again the things that we do for dressing up in fashion so again to fashion week again to fashion week someday so hopefully I'll be able to take on all, all of these pairs to fashion week someday and I'll be the happiest person on earth if that happens so let's manifest that hopefully um we will be able to grow this channel grow this community and maybe we will get noticed i know it's just me daydreaming uh, while filming this and it's 3 a.m so hopefully it's not just wishful thinking but whether it happens or not i'm still happy with where i am now i'm happy with the shoes that I have so it's okay if it happens or not as long as I'm happy we are all happy with what we are doing so there so that's it for our second video of our thrifted collection series I can't wait to film the next one and I can't wait to read your comments guys about everything that I showed you so again thank you so much for watching the video until the end I hope subscribe and support me all the way so that we can grow this channel and talk about anything print and fashion again thank you thank you so much and see you on my next video